Now, in order to express 5 cos x minus 5 sin x in the form r cos x plus alpha, what you've got to know is this particular identity. a cos x minus b sin x, if it's identical to r cos x plus alpha, r is always given by the square root of a squared plus b squared, and tan alpha is always b over a. Now, if you're unsure of this, how to prove this result, just look on my tutorial videos for this, and you'll see this explained. Okay, on the assumption then that you are familiar with this, then it's dead easy, because what we've got is a is the 5, b is the 3. Be careful there, b is not minus 3, the minus is already taken care of here, okay? That minus is this minus, so the b is just the 3, okay? So we've got a is 5, b is 3, and so therefore we should be able to work out r. So all we need to do is just say where r equals the square root then of a squared plus b squared, so that would be 5 squared plus 3 squared. And if you work that out, you've got the square root of 25 plus 9. That's the square root of 34. Just leave it like that. We've also got tan alpha. We'll just say and tan alpha equals b over a. So that's going to be 3 over 5, 3 fifths. To get alpha, just need to inverse tan this, inverse tan of three fifths. And we're working in radians mode here, so be very careful, make sure your calculator's in radians. If you inverse tan this on your calculator in radians mode, you should find you get 0 0.5404 and so on radians. And if we round this up to two decimal places, you've got 0 0.54 radians, let's just put that in, to two decimal places. So what does this mean? We can summarize and therefore say that 5 cos x minus 3 sin x is identical to, well, r cos x plus alpha, just insert the r and the alpha, and you've got the square root of 34 multiplied by the cosine of x plus 0 0.54 radians, okay?